Good morning, good morning, and a happy Thanksgiving to you. Every day is a good day to give thanks, and I'm grateful for a special day set apart every year. Give thanks to God for all his goodness and to be thankful for everything else in our lives. Well, this morning, I wanted to talk about time. You know, it is very valuable to spend your time properly, not to waste it, you know, not be frivolous with our time. People will say that time is our, like, our most valuable commodity, things of that sort. But I want to talk about an interesting concept from the scripture, starting in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15, where he says, See then that you walk carefully, not as fools, but as wise men, making the most of the time because the days are evil. Now this translation is a little interesting, and a lot of them say that. They say making the most of the time, which is a good concept. Make the most of the time you have. But the actual word there, which the King James uses as well, is redeeming the time. What do you do when you redeem something? You take one thing and you buy it back. You know, you redeem a coupon. You use the coupon to get a free pizza or something like that. Or Jesus, which is all throughout the scripture, he redeemed us. He bought us back from the hand of the enemy. We had been sold out, but he bought us back. We are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. It doesn't say by his blood he made the most of things. He did what he could. No, it says he redeemed us. So here it says redeeming the time because the days are evil. That implies that the days have caused bad things to happen. But you, through faith, through operations of the Spirit, working with the Lord, but you, you and me do it, can redeem. We can buy back the time that was lost due to these evil days. He says it again in Colossians chapter 4, if I don't turn to too many strange places, and verse 5, where he says, Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside, wisely using the opportunity. That's another strange version, but it says, redeeming the time. Straight, straightforward there. It means redeeming the time again. Walk in wisdom and redeem the time. Then it says, Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you should answer everyone. Now, we've seen plenty of sci-fi movies where it talks about time travel and going back in time and all the theorized problems with it. I'm not necessarily speaking about time travel. Although all things are possible with God, I, we probably wouldn't know if it happened because it would have been traveled. But I'm talking about what the scripture says. It says God can restore things that were lost in the past. He can restore things. Maybe not everything. Maybe we can't go back and change things. Some things are permanent. But he says he can restore stuff. In Joel chapter 2, he says in verse 25, another strange translation version, but it says, And I will compensate you, or I will restore, it says in the King James, what the locusts, the years the locusts have eaten, the larval locust, the hopper locust, the fledgling locust, my great army which I sent among, against you. You will eat abundantly and be satisfied. And you will praise the name of the Lord your God, who has worked wonders for you. My people will never again be ashamed. He will restore the years that the locusts have eaten. You think they're past. You think they're gone. You think it's too late. No, God can restore. We can redeem. We can buy back that time. And again, in Psalm 103, one of my favorite scriptures, in verse 5, it says, Who satisfies is one of the... Uh, the benefits of the Lord, who satisfies your mouth with good things, not just what you eat, but what you speak, good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. You know, youth is something you're not supposed to get back, but he says your youth can be renewed like the eagles. We don't necessarily know how. We can give, take the eagle as the example 
But we know when God says it, that's the way it is. So something for you to think about today. Redeeming, buying back the time, setting your faith to restore things that were lost, setting your faith for God's goodness to work. Even though it looks like it's past, his goodness can work and bring great things to pass. Amen. Be blessed.